Oh. Mm. Oh. <laughs> He's just fucking exploded. What? So today we're getting back on PVZ2. I want to get started with Frostbite Caves. Now, this world's a little bit longer. I'm not planning on splitting this world into like 10 different episodes. I'm going to sit down right now. I'm going to play at least 10 of these. Let's get started. First of all, what do we got? I... Hot potato. Pepper pole. I'm not sure if I've used this before. This I've definitely used. The charred guard. Definitely used that before. That's come up in a pinata party somewhere. We have stunion. I'm pretty sure I've used that. Roto bagger. Roto bagger. There's no way I'm saying that right. Damn, is this a long world? Now, this is the world where everyone swears down that Fire P is going to be my savior. I'm just, I'm going to be so glad that I've got Fire P. And I'm not saying that's not going to be the case. I'm not like, I know it seems like I'm taking the piss, but like, go on, show me. It's colder than a polar bear eating an ice pop. Indeed, it appears we've arrived in the Frostbite Caves. Traveled so far back in history, we've arrived in prehistory. A historic moment indeed. Oh, you mean a, a prehistoric moment? <laughs> I should get a real job. We'll plant wisely and stop those zombies cold. Hey, we're all full of the jokes today. I love it. Uh, so we'll just bring just a standard sort of setup, I guess. Let's go reg sunflower because people always shout at me for bringing twin sunflower too much. Let's go fire pea. I'll bring hurricane. Not much point in me bringing iceberg lettuce. Cherry bomb. Chili bean the shitting machine. I guess tool nut and lightning reed. That's that's a, a setup, I guess. We'll try and we'll try this. So I know some of you are gonna be asking about PVZ3. Let's let's talk about PVZ3. I, I'm gonna be playing it again. I don't really want to make a series out of it. What I want to do is the next time I make a video on it, I wanna actually kind of give my thoughts on the beta. I wanna share my dreaded opinions. No! But I don't want to actually do that until I've beaten the whole thing. So what I'll probably do is I'll play a little bit more of it. I'll maybe make a video playing the last like 10 levels. And then I'll give my thoughts on it. I do definitely have some things to say about it already. But like I said, I'll be fair. Oh, the hell? They just move lanes. Oh, so that's what that is. I'll be fair. I'll play the whole thing. And then I'll give my thoughts on it. For now, I want to get cracking with this. I have done a couple of levels. I think probably in Pinata Party or something like that. Where I've dealt with some ice before. So I think I kind of get what the gimmick is. There are zombies around that can basically, they start freezing your plants. And I think by having fire pee, it kind of thaws them out. But I wonder if Torchwood does the same thing. Surely Torchwood does the same, has that same effect that fire pee does. You would think. Maybe he doesn't. I don't know. I'm not the expert, clearly. But definitely for this series going forward, I want to try and get a lot more covered in these episodes. I want to try and do more than just, you know... We cover like two or three levels in an episode. I want to do way more than that. If we're not posting every day, then I want you man to get your money's worth. Do you know what I mean? I get way too many people come to me saying, you know, I really enjoy watching your videos, but it feels like just when it's starting to get good, that's when it ends. Do you know what? No more. I've had it. Need to start actually making some good content for once. I feel like this setup kind of has it covered. I've got three plant food, so make that four. I can basically just jalapeno every lane. One. Oh, that was it. That was the... <laughs> I thought they were going to send a bit more than that. So hot potato is free. I'm seeing that big fat zero, and I like that. That's like my favorite number in this game. Anytime I see a plant with that attached to it, you have my attention. Plant it on an ice block and melt the block. Okay, so I guess that's for the poor innocent schmucks who don't have fire pee. The mere mortals. Ah, see, now I get it. So I've got three frozen repeaters. And I this is where they want me to use hot potato, but I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to use hot potato. I'm going to use... I want to try. I know if I put fire pee next to it, fire pee will work. I want to see if torchwood works. I'll bring fire pee anyway, just in case it doesn't. And then I look like a bit of a twat. But I really want to see... I really want to see if torchwood works. Because then, if that's the case, then I can keep doing repeat of torchwood. You know that would make me happier than a pig in shit. So let's just try this. So let's put a torchwood in front of him. Oh, it does work. Ooh! Oh, it actually does work. I can keep doing repeat of Torchwood. Fire pee? More like fired pee. Oh, they actually send a blizzard that like refreezes them again. Okay. Okay, well, if you're going to do that, then I will keep fire pee in. Because I presume you can't freeze him. I presume being a fire pee, he's just completely immune to it. 
Yeah, so it, like, it doesn't even affect him. It seems like when they send the Blizzard, the repeaters will get partially frozen, and then the Torch will have to thaw them out again, and the Fire P just like, won't even have to worry about it. So, okay, I mean, that's that's fine. Don't worry, Fire P. I, I still have a use for you. Just about. Could we not, like, do a thing where I can put a Torch win in front of you, and it just makes your shots even more powerful? Like, can that not be a thing? You know that should totally be a thing. I know I could do this... And that kind of turns you into an off-brand plasma pee. I think someone was telling me if I upgrade fire pee enough, they become like his default shots. So, I mean, that's food for thought. Even though if I want to upgrade him, I'm going to have to pay. And I love doing that. Okay, so that's day two. I like the music in this one, actually. My data suggests Hurricane would be of great use here. Ah, oh, well, it's a good thing I've got Hurricane then, isn't it? Blast of air from him and the zombies will chill out and slow down. The guys are real blowhard. And I mean that in the nicest... Wait, did that just sound like a euphemism? Okay, so this is a conveyor belt level. I presume they want me to push these two back, but it's like they're frozen, so could I not just leave them there? Surely if I just don't touch them, then... Also, I've just clocked onto the... <laughs> I've just clocked onto the lawnmowers. Oh, it's that one squirrel from Ice Age, the one who's always trying to get the acorn. Oh, what's his name? Scrat? Scat? Scatman? Oh, they're gonna make me do something in this lane now, because... Any chance I could get some torchwoods on this conveyor belt, or...? Is that wishful thinking? I could probably... I could probably stick a spike weed there and just plant food it. It's not going to grab the... Okay. Well, as long as I can throw him out in time. I'll throw one of them out in time. Blow him back. And I meant that in the nicest way possible. I do fuck with the music. So it's just trying to send them all to the top lane. Let me do the spike weed thing again. Okay. Sounds like someone's playing it on a kazoo just really badly. It's like shitty flute. I used to love those. Uh, let me blow these guys back. If I could maybe get a second round of the plant food. Or should I just try and wait for them all to congregate in one lane and then plant food the spike weed then? Maybe I could do that. Let me try and get as many of them as I can in that middle lane. Oh no, it's fine. I can... Okay, never mind. Do that. And do that. We should be... Yeah, that's it. Oh, these levels are actually kind of cool. I like the way that every new world you get to, they just throw in like a bunch of new mechanics. It's like, oh, you thought you were getting used to the game. <laughs> yeah, no. The throat's getting better very slowly. Uh, we'll go Twin Sunflower this time. No idea what this guy does, so I'm seeing buckheads and everything. So let's try what we did before. So we'll go repeat a torchwood. I will bring fire pee. Hurricane. I swear by Hurricane now. It's so good. We'll go cherry bomb, chili bean. See how we go with this. Good, still works. Good, as long as that chili bean still works, I'll keep bringing it. Love that thing. Uh, just bomb that, honestly. I will start on fire peas for now. Because I feel like at some point they're going to start trying to freeze my sunflowers. So I'd rather start off with the fire peas and then bring the repeaters in later. Conehead's going to move up to bottom middle. So that's fine. We can deal with that. You're going to shit yourself. Because you look like the kind of guy who does anyway. So just staying true to your character. Yeah, we'll get fire pea in each lane and then we can... See, I don't know what this guy's deal is. Kind of looks like he's trying to hoover. Uh, okay, we're good. We're good. That's it. Yeah, hoover that up. Four. Oh, I'll tell you what, let me plant food the twin sunflowers. I like doing that. Because then if we do like a row of fire piece to start with and then repeaters in front, then we can sandwich the repeaters in between the fire peas and the torchwoods. That's like double central heating, mate. They are never getting frozen. Okay, so we throw snowballs. Fair enough. I don't know why you throw snowballs at a torchwood. Yeah, see, now this is a setup. This is the greatest setup in the world. But for some reason, they insist on throwing snowballs at my torchwood. Don't worry, Clarkson Wolfie isn't real. He can't hurt you. <laughs> okay, so we've got some pepper pulse, some stunions. I love the little wordplay they do when they're naming stuff. Vase breaker is now available. Ah, okay. Got some frozen veg to deal with first. Uh, so how we wanted to do this then? We're gonna have to just... Oh, conveyor belt. Uh, well, I'll put a pepper pulse there. That should heat those up. And while I'm doing that, I'll surround the whole thing with cabbage pulps. So basically, this is going to be the world where they just give me a shitload of fire plants. 
sign me up. No problem with that at all. Oh, we got a new power up as well. I didn't even notice that. I presume that's the same as the blizzard. It's just not a blizzard. I kind of want to try it. I'm going to try it. Hold on. Whoa, that's broken. Holy shit. Yeah, that'd be why it costs over a grand. Let's try plant fooding the pepper pole. Damn, that's good. I'm gonna have to start using this thing when I get it. So it's good. They can still function while they're partially frozen. It's just... I always have to make sure I've got the pepper pulp nearby so they never get completely frozen. Like these two over here. I'm probably just gonna wait for this final wave to come in and then... I'll just like triple plant food. Yeah, like wait. Honestly, wait for this final wave to come in. Watch. Watch me. We're just gonna go... One, two, three... Oh, we're not done. Damn it, I was about to sit here and be like, oh, yeah, that's how you do it. Yeah, evidently not. I wonder if this world is going to get, like, insanely difficult at some point. Because, like, one of the things I always hear about PvZ2 is, like, the sudden spikes in difficulty. I've been told there's times where you'll just be plodding along thinking, like, yeah, slight work, we're doing fine. And then suddenly, bang, you'll hit a level that's just, like, impossible. I mean, that might not be until way later. I know everyone keeps telling me about Big Wave Beach. Survive the zombie attack with... Most plants picked for you. So not all. I mean, you've given me pepper pole and hot potato. So I mean, like, thanks. Gee, oh, whatever am I going to do with the last two spaces? I honestly, there, there's just so many different things I could do. It's just, it's such a blur. I can't decide. So what's good is we've got these two little, I don't know, kind of, what do I even call them? Like, if you still go swimming in a leisure center and you ask them if you could borrow a float and they give you one of these things. But that's going to make sure that nothing can get through in the top or the bottom lane. So, uh, 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 I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna put Torchwood there, and I'm gonna see what happens. Does that kill him if he kills it? I'm kind of intrigued. I've never tried this before. It's working. It's actually working. Wait a minute. He didn't even kill it before it killed him. Mate, Torchwood OP. Let me just put them down. Have I seriously never let one of my Torchwoods die to see that that's what happens? No way. That's what it does when it dies. All right, I'm gonna have to thaw you out. Plant food. That's it. Just need to buy a little bit of time. I could have thought this through a little bit better though because my, oh, my sunflowers are gonna get frozen. Oh, I didn't think this through at all. Hold on. I'm gonna have to plant food again. Come on, I just need to get one more Torchwood down and we're fine. I'll use the hot potatoes on the sunflowers. I don't care. Okay, now we should be looking good. We should be able to... Is it going to be enough? There's quite a few of them, but they're quite weak, so... No, I think we'll be okay. Just about have this one in hand. Do you know what? Let's put that there and plant food. It would have been rude to not use it. Hey, let's go. I'm actually kind of looking forward to using this thing. Oh, we got Yeti imps now. Is that my guy Usain Yeti? It has been a hot minute, my friend. Cold minute. Please note, I've agreed to replace the snowballs with fireballs. The flamethrower power up mess. Oh, dude, I already tried it out. I beat you to it. Way ahead of you on this one. I should have upgraded this thing before. Actually, I probably can. There we go. Could just do it on the fly. On the job. 60 damage. That's not bad. Does damage now. Oh. Okay. But am I not supposed to use it on my plants? Is that not like the whole point? Or could I put it on a frozen zombie? Perhaps? Let's see if I can figure something out that doesn't involve repeat a torchwood. Because I'm sure everyone's getting just sick and tired of it at this point. We'll try this. We'll see if we can do something with this. Because if you think about it, this should be light work. Yeah, we got a couple of frozen yeti imps. So if I use the hot potato on them, it's going to do damage. I'm just thinking we'll... Stick down some twin sunflowers. Maybe we'll put pepper pulse behind it and fire peas in front. Something like that. Thaw out the split pea. See, I like the way that they've placed the floats because that means they're not going to be able to get to it. See, you did their game. I like it. Let's throw them both out. Nice. Should put a torchwood light behind him. Do you know what? I'll put fire pea down there. Just deal with that. Another one in the middle. I could honestly probably just kick it with this. Again, we don't need anything on the top or bottom lane. So I'll tell you, I'll put extra twin sunflowers up there. Might make life a little bit easier. Are we managing okay or are we, do you know what? Let's just... Saves a bit of time, doesn't it? Maybe hit one of these. 
No, this one's not dying anytime soon, so let's do that. I'm wondering how my split pea died. The one that was bottom middle. Because how could they have even got to that? Or did someone- did it get pelted with a snowball? Was that it? I'll tell you what, you shit yourself. I like how that's just a- that's just a term of jargon that we use now in this game. Just no one thinks anything of it. I could always cherry bomb the last of them if need be. In fact, you know what? I'll do exactly that. That was good. I almost got all of them with that. Just this guy. There it is. Yeah. I think I'm gonna stick with my repeat of Torchwood. Yeah, I know I'm Captain Originality out here, but never let it be said that I'm not loyal. Conveyor belt level. Coming up. Well, I think, yeah, before we do anything else, let's get the pepper pulse down. If you could just, like, for every level from now on, just keep having these floats that stop anyone from getting through on the top of the bottom lane, I'd love that. See, then we'll put Bonk Choice behind the Johnnies. Because the thing is, the Johnny can get frozen. It doesn't matter if Johnny gets frozen. He's just like, he can function under any conditions. Ooh. I don't like how it's pushing them, like, all the way into my defense. Wait, how did you get through? What the fuck? Oh, is it the snowstorm that did that? Taking the right piss. Uh, come again. Yeah, get back on the other side. Why? Why can't I put my... There we go. I was going to say, fuck. Let me just get some plant food real quick. And then I can... Use it on one of the bonk choys. That's it. I see that. I see that. There you go. Okay. We wait for the final wave. We know what to do. This seems really hectic, but I feel like I have just about got it under control. It's the way that the snowstorm can kind of just push them past Johnny. That's... The fuck is that? I don't know who okayed that, but I didn't. Right, now we hit it. Or should we just dump one, like, right in the middle? Yeah, like, right there. Nope. He died so quickly, I couldn't even do it. All right, put him there. That's it. Probably wasn't the best idea, in hindsight. Didn't really give me much plant food for this one. We are pretty much there. One of these days, I'm going to get a kazoo just so I can play along with it. Is it even a kazoo or is it just one of the pop cap employees just sitting in a corner going... Doo, doo, doo. Hey, Jimbo, am I just going off in the corner and just doing the soundtrack for this one? Doo, 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 doo. All right, let's go back to repeat a Torchwood. Why don't we try the strategy that I kind of worked out at the start? We won't bring Hot Potato or Pepper Pot. I'll stick with this. Yeah, let's try what we were doing here. The twin sunflowers, then we'll do fire pea, repeater, torchwood. Jobs are good. As long as we haven't got any snowstorms, they shouldn't be able to do anything in the bottom two lanes. But now that I've said that, that's exactly what's going to happen. Oh, I didn't mean to put that there, you dickhead. Is he even going to be able to kill them in time? I might have to push him back, push him back. Miscalculated that one a little bit. It's not like me. So what's the deal with this guy then? Can I make him shit himself? Oh... Mm. Oh! <laughs> he's just fucking exploded. Okay, so he can fly over the thing. Okay, can't fly over this though. <laughs> Slowly get the setup sorted here. That's it. Push him back. God, I love Hurricane. Such a good plant. Just so reliable. Hurricane, definitely one of them plants. You can just tell. This thing is always going to be good. There's never going to be a scenario where this thing isn't good. Definitely feels like one of them forever plants. I'm not even going to have time to put the torches down. It's fine. I'm just going to do this. Thank you. I hit one more level. These cave zombies sure are hard-headed. They just won't take no brains for an answer. Not about to read that. Too long, didn't read. All right, so what are we doing this one? No idea. Conveyor belt? Yes, conveyor belt. Oh, we got this guy. He does like a little thing where you set him up. Almost like a sort of spring trap. And then when the zombies step on him, it just like flings them backwards. Pretty sure that's what he does. Fine. Let's try it. See, so yeah, he like coils himself. And then goes boing. Yeah. Pretty much it. I think he'll probably work on the bird as well. Yeah, definitely works on the bird. I'm just if I plant food it. He turns into bonk choy. So we're thinking this is probably the setup. Just doing this. I think there is a limit on how many times he can do it. I think after a while, he does kind of... I don't think he just kind of sits... He's like a spring bean that recharges into... Yeah, he loses his leaves, though. So I think he can only do it so many times before he kind of runs out. Hang on. Yeah, let's do this. Haven't used that in a while. He's <laughs> struggling a little bit, isn't he? Can he even do anything anymore? I mean, you can just sit there and be frozen, I guess. That works. Oh, I can place another one on top of him. Okay, so he kind of works the same way as Johnny. Wait for that final wave to come in. Get that final wave in. 
And we're just going to go... Hit one of them. I may have to do that. Not really what I had in mind, but we pretty much got this, I think. And that is a third of Frostbite Caves. Progress has been good. That is going to be all the time that I've got for this one, though. So I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have and you're enjoying these longer episodes, you want to see more of them, make sure you let me know. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. See you next time.